Hey guys, welcome to a Brick Separator. Today we're going to be taking a look at my custom LEGO Rocket League build. So, uh, this is a game that I really love, and I uh, built kind of main stadium from this. So, uh, this is based off of Mansfield Stadium, and uh, it's just uh, kind of that generic, uh, most iconic one, I think. And I think it came out pretty neat. So, uh, look at a couple of these little accessories, I guess, first. So, this is a little punching uh, bag, punching hands. That you would use to, uh, you know, in, in the rumble mode, so I think that's pretty neat. And then also the plunger from the rumble mode as well. So uh, you can actually attach these on the cars if you want. Uh, if you want to do that, I think it's pretty neat. Um, so here are also some of the, um, I guess, uh, uh, different types of balls you can use. So you got generic one right here. Uh, you got the uh, soccer ball and the hockey puck. So uh, if you actually take a look at this, this is a really unique build. I actually saw this off of a YouTuber. Uh, so not my own idea, but really impressive how this all comes together. And uh, one of the most genius building techniques I've ever seen. Uh, just create a perfectly round ball. So uh, really neat. Uh, I really like how that technique works and uh, very useful if you want to make a small ball like this. Uh, so I guess we'll show off the main feature here, because I actually made this a playable Rocket League. So uh, I know it's a little bit confusing, but it has these uh, kind of sticks that uh, stick out that you can, uh, you know, use to play the game. And I'll try to do my best to uh, angle this so you can see it well. But uh, so you got to go with that. So basically you can control the cars by using those sticks that stick out. And uh, so basically you just set this up, have one person uh, play either side, or in case right now I just am doing both. But you can start out behind the line here and then you just kind of charge forward and then you can play the game just like uh, you would the real thing. So uh, it's kind of like, I guess similar to air hockey, as far as similar as close you can get. But uh, you, know, you would just uh, have a little hard to demonstrate here, uh, just by myself. But uh, this is a lot of fun to play, and uh, that's uh, how you just score. So you just line up a shot there, and there you go. So the ball uh, just kind of goes into the uh, goal there, and then there you go. So uh, I think this is a pretty neat feature I was able to do in there. It took me a long time to figure out how best to do that. Uh, but I think it came out really neat in the ends. So I'll take out the cars uh, and make it a little more simple to uh, uh, you know, show the rest of this off. And the cars do come off. They're just attached with uh, little Technic axles there. So uh, if you want to display these uh, in the front, you can just uh, do that. Makes it simple. Uh, in the front here, it's supposed to represent the garage. So you pop a car on, and then there's your garage. You get all the toppers that you can put on, so you can take, uh, you know, a top hat, and then you need the uh, little piece there to make that work. And you just stick this on the car, so a uh, little neat customization fin. I think that is a pretty cool idea. I also got uh, different flags and uh, antennas as well, and then some uh, wheels that you can swap out. Too so uh, very important part of Rocket League, you know, trade the stuff, and uh, so uh, I think that was a neat uh, thing to do there. So on the inside, we got uh, all the boosts that you can see. So the big boosts in the uh, you know six areas there. I kind of got the blue and orange that separate the two areas. Got that around the goal as well, uh, but all the small boosts throughout the um, the uh, the arena. Uh, it's got all the clear pieces to uh, do around the arena as well. And there's also a score keeper here. So these would be flipped up before you start the game. And then as you score points, you would just flip these over. And that's how you just kind of keep track. So three goals win. And then uh, that's how it works. So I think that uh, came out pretty good. I'm using these windshield pieces there for the um, back of the goals. And then on this side, you actually have the, uh, the store, so um, very important part of the game. Um, this is all different uh, hats, uh, toppers, uh, antennas, flags, and then wheels. And it's just kind of all displayed here on the shelves. 
So at least all we put on the cars if you want it. And, uh, you know, that just kind of adds to the whole experience of this, I think. Little tile detail I did down at the bottom as well. Uh, there's not really too much else to say about this. Uh, I really like how this build came out. Uh, probably one of my favorite builds for one of my favorite games. So uh, I really like this build and uh, it took a long time to do. I probably rebuilt this fin completely, you know, three, four times um, to get to where I want it to be. So uh, really nice to see that it's finally done and in a place where uh, I'm very happy with it. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, uh, be sure to check out some of the other ones here on the Brick Separator. See you soon.